Here come Watford. And they've always known it could be a season battling away towards the lower reaches of the Premier League. But they've already shown that when the big names come here, they can perform. And Chelsea do have experience in their side here this evening. Cesar Aspilicueta once again will take the captain's armband. And it could be the ideal night for Thomas Tuchel to make changes. Watford, of course, have already faced a title challenger here this season and lost by five goals to nil in Claudio Ranieri's first game in charge against Liverpool. And he will hope that some lessons have been learned here this evening. Watford are notoriously slow starters in Premier League games, but here is cleverly and João Pedro with the effort. And that's a very important intervention from Trevor Chalabar. I think that was going in. Again, just sharp off the throw in, down the line, Alonso get beat, get rolled, got bullied, good from cleverly. He just peels in and I think it's a brilliant block. In their last 23 games and they've conceded first in 20 of those matches, but they're putting early pressure on here. João Pedro once again, and it's a superb save from Mendy. And the young Brazilian going close twice in the opening five minutes. Brilliant save from Mendy, had to be bright and alert. It's two chances now for Watford. Mendy taking his time. And Josh King was all over him. And you can sense the belief in the home crowd here inside Vicarage Road already. Here is Dennis. And they've delivered on that so far, but here is Loftus-Cheek. And now Mason Mount, and he strikes the upright. Sal unable to direct the rebound towards goal. I think it's the first time they won the first ball. Ruben Loftus-Cheek and wins it, and then Mason Mount on the volley. You're thinking this has got goal written all over it. He's a clinical one out, probably the first of the front three. Rudiger, Alonso still forward, he's taken it down well, here is Havertz, square to Mount! <laughs> Chelsea lead! Mason Mount showing his value to this Chelsea team once again. When they work it, they work it so, so well. Again, ball over the top, that was a threat, that was where it was going to come from. Mason Mount has been the brightest player, but work it from a throw-in. You see Alonso just ghosting on the, on the far left now, peels in the back, he's putting his arm up, dink over the top, he's clearly onside. Alonso times his run really well, brilliant touch, and it's about composure. And to be fair to Havertz, he puts it on the plate for Mason Man, he's not going to miss there. It's just a wonderful work goal, but that's a dink in behind again, that threat. Constantly been poor at defending that Watford this season, that's where they constantly had to exploit it. Brilliant touch. And then it's just about picking the right pass. And brilliant finish from Mount. Fuster Kong, he's given the ball away to Sal. Here is Pulisic. Havertz makes the run in behind. Here is Havertz, 2 0. But the flag is raised, it won't count. Timing of the pass should have gone earlier. Or at that point, when you miss that first pass, you have to keep running with it, Pulisic, because Guy Havertz can't time his run any better. Giving it away in the central area. Now he's either got to play it. That situation there, as soon as he goes, he can't play it. He's got to be smarter in that boost. He's got to keep going himself. There's nothing Kai Havertz can do in that. He's trying to make a run for himself and then pull away when the pass wasn't delivered. Pico Firmino. Now Dennis. Whipped in by Cleverly. King was challenging for it. And Rose with the shot, which was blocked. Well, that would have been a collector's item if Danny Rose had scored. I think he does everything right, gets good connection with it. Drills it, keeps it live, it's a good save. Mount makes the run ahead of him. And here is Mount, and Alonso was waiting, and it was Kiko Firmino. who came across just in time for Watford. As Chalabar is now fouled, and when Chelsea get in those sort of situations, they always look dangerous. Loftus Chicas. Lost out to Suzoko. Four forward here for Watford. One of them is Emmanuel Dennis. Dennis continues and scores! <laughs> Watford's talisman strikes again. And for the first time this season, 
Chelsea concede away from home from open play. And it's Watford's Emmanuel Dennis. Talk about composure from Dennis. Absolute brilliant. Brilliant this whole opening half. Again, though, it comes from Chelsea just being really naive. Have to see why are you trying to roll in those areas with two, three minutes before half time? Sissoko does really well, timing of the pass, brilliant. And then it's just about the composure. Doesn't need to beat him, which is really key. Rudig is expecting him to go down the sides, block him. It's poor from Loftus Cheek there. But as soon as he gets himself into the penalty area like this, he doesn't have to beat him. He sees a little gap. He actually side butts it into the corner, slight deflection. Just sees a little gap through his legs. Brilliant finish. And it's nothing more than Watford have deserved. They've been really good this opening period, just lacked that quality, but Dennis has provided it there. Well, that ricochet off Rudiger maybe just took the ball away from Mendy, but Claudio Ranieri delighted. And the mood in both dressing rooms at half-time has just been transformed. Reinvigorated by the equalising goal, here is Dennis again, found by Suzuka. Back towards Suzuka, and this time Mendy makes the save. And Chelsea opened up far too easily. Well, they're getting bullied, Chelsea. Oh, but Watford get bodies around him, and Suzoko can find cleverly. Now King, João Pedro waits in the centre. It's beyond him, and it almost found Emmanuel Dennis, but Rudiger was there to clear. Now on the break, it's Loftus Cheek. Here is Pulisic, he can drive into the penalty area. Still Christian Pulisic has support from Havertz. He plays it back towards Loftus-Cheek. His shot is blocked and Watford eventually escape. And Chelsea will have the throw-in and they are just beginning to apply sustained pressure. Trista Kong stooping to get the ball away. Now João Pedro, and here is Cleverly, and Mendy is right out, and somehow does just enough. Mendy was out very, very early, and I thought pff, he got there. I don't think Mendy would have got there ahead of Cleverly. Just see here, his legs kind of went, and then ran into him. Just stumbled there. Well, I think Tom Cleverly was astonished to see. Edouard Mendy, so far outside his penalty area. And it's the Chelsea goalkeeper who has come off worst. We just see he's in his own half, so he's onside. You just think there's a composure. But his legs went, you think, take it round him. Treat him like an outfield player, not a goalkeeper, and go round him. Cut out by Rose. Now João Pedro loves to come in field from the left-hand side. Lusa encouraged to shoot, and he does. Probably thought Pedro should have took the shot there when he cut in on that, on his right foot. Zayas finding Havertz. Pulisic making the run to the right to create the space for Havertz. He continues, it was deflected, and Bachmann was able to make the save. Cisco Munoz was dismissed after... Four defeats in its opening seven games earlier this season. Here is Mount. Zayesh! Wow. Hakim Zayesh steps off the bench and comes up with a cracker. Well, he's not showing it, but he may be happier now, Thomas Turkle. That's absolutely brilliant from Chelsea. Just the movement from all of them, moving it. From side to side, the finish, the quality of passing, absolute brilliant team goal. See patient build-up, Z, it's actually coming into the pocket space, moving it out. See Mount there in that little space, then he makes a dart in behind. It's all one-touch football and Watford can't get near him. Again, brilliant pass into the right area. And Ziyech was a person that started the move, ended the move, and it's a brilliant finish from him. But credit to Mount again, that threat in behind. Ziyech just got too much power on it and Batman cannot do anything about that. Brilliant team goal from Chelsea. Hakim Ziyech with his first Premier League goal of the season. Taken down well by King. Now Dennis. 
Three inside the area for Watford. Delivered in towards King again. Kucha. And it was deflected. It will spin behind. And Watford have a corner. And the home crowd urging the ball to be delivered. Dennis. Kiko Firmino eventually does. And Watford have another corner. Everybody back for Chelsea. Danny Rose with the corner. Lukaku making the clearance. And then Dennis was caught by Pulisic. And Kucha does strike it. And it's turned over the top by Mendy. Well, that was travelling. Well, he hit that with some force. I think we all thought it was going to be an ambitious shot. But wow, absolutely hit that with venom. But Mendy keeps his eye on it, takes no risks. Tips it over to the crossbar. It's on target for sure. Sao Pedro, Kucha. Really has to go into the penalty area. It does. Christensen rising. It'll drop to Kiko Firmina. And it's deflected over the top. And still we play on with the Watford corner. Again, no, this has got to be right. The last corner from Danny Rose is not good enough. Didn't beat the... Near post, it's probably their last chance now, Watford. Backman's going up as well. Daniel Backman, the goalkeeper, will be looking to attack this corner. The delivery from Rose, flicked away by Lukaku, and that is that. Chelsea cement their place at the top of the Premier League, but it was really pretty here at Vicarage Road this evening.